Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Aries. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys, Aries. Let's have a look at what we have for Aries. In case this reading resonates, Aries, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay. So what do we have for Aries, please? We have the temperance card, okay? I feel like a lot of you at this time are healing yourself, okay? You're letting go of the past, but at the same time, I feel like when it comes to your feelings and your emotions, it's like there is something here that you're still trying to understand, uh, and that is connected to your emotions and your feelings, okay? For some of you, there could also be somebody like you're interested in, in love, but you may be like, I'm going to gauge the situation before I really <laughs> um, invest because it's like you're trying to be mindful of where you invest emotionally and there is healing taking place, okay? Because I feel like there are emotions, but there's also a sense of stability in your energy. And, you know, I feel like recently, maybe in the past, there's a challenge here that you have overcome, okay? And there's really like, you've gone to this place not very easily. So that's why as well, I feel like a lot of you are um, trying to be mindful of where you're investing your energy. Four of Wands is here. Uh, but Four of Wands is your challenge, Aries. So I feel like for a lot of you, there's something about a relationship that's your challenge or a sense of harmony in a relationship. But we're going to have a look at why is that your challenge. We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so I feel like your energy right now, Aries, is more so like I'm trying to be happy on my own. I'm trying to figure out things that are meant for me and... Um, letting go of stuff that's not meant for me. So what I'm really getting here is that you're trying to be happy on your own and you're trying to find fulfillment on your own. Some of you are trying to detach from a relationship because there's a lot of that energy here of, you know, being with your own self, okay? And working on your own self, Ten of Wands. Recently, there has been an ending. Uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, I keep getting that in the present moment, Aries, for you, there's a lot of healing that is taking place, okay? So, you know, I feel like some of you need, um, you may be feeling like your body is well rested, but your mind isn't. And you need to take a break, okay? Because you've been overthinking or over overanalyzing something maybe, okay? And there needs to be a balance, especially in your emotions here. Okay, uh, because with the temperance and the four of swords energy, there is healing that is taking place. But at the same time, with the ten of wands energy, there may be something still troubling you a little bit. Some of you are, with the page of pentacles energy, you're trying to work towards something new. Mm. There's a lot of healing that's taking place in your reading, Aries. And I'm also getting that you're hoping to become better at your job or at what you're doing, okay? So whatever you're doing, you're really putting in all effort. Some of you may be interested in a, in a new job, okay, or a new venture. I'm really getting that something in your life recently completely changed or transformed and that also shifted your perspective. Whoever you're dealing with, their energy is the Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, this person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. We also have Aquarius, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. So what I'm getting here is that there is somebody who is a little bit confused. This person could be very money focused or this person could be somebody you meet through work, okay? Uh, I'm going to have a look at why this person's feeling confused, but it does look like there's a new opportunity coming towards you very soon. Some of you may also get a new job opportunity or there's there's some form of a change here in your money. But if I look at it from a, you know, the person you're uh, connecting with their perspective, there's somebody here who cherishes you, 
they're a little bit confused. We're going to see why is that. Your advice from the reading is the Hierophant, the Emperor, and the Seven of Cups. Nice. So your advice here is to not settle for less, Aries. Uh, you're showing up in your own advice. So this is really about connecting back to your own energy. Some of you are really powerful. Like some of you may be businessman or uh, you, you could be a businessman or a woman. Okay. It's like you're embodying a very powerful energy. There's also a sense of spirituality here. Okay. So th there's something here about the key, the key to life. Okay. So for some of you, it's, it's almost like the message here is that you already know the truth about something or, you know, the, the fundamentals of something. Okay. But you need to act upon something because the emperor energy talks about taking initiative, taking action. And the hierophant is very similar to the empress in a way that it's, it's, it's almost like taking the lead kind of an energy. Okay, and there's really something here about business and money. Some of you also need to learn to communicate your needs better. Okay, um, with the Seven of Cups, again, Seven of Cups is telling you to not settle for less. Okay, so your overall energy is the world card with the devil. Yeah, you're closing a toxic cycle, but I feel like before closing the cycle, you really, really try to make something work. But that was more toxic than ever, whatever it was. With the world and the devil energy, you're definitely closing a toxic cycle. You're getting over something, but I'm going to have a look at what this is because that's your overall energy. So I kind of want to use another deck for clarifications today. So let's do that. Let's use this deck. Okay. Show me what is there for Aries. And in the extended, I'm going to clarify more about the person coming towards you, their th what they're thinking, feeling about you, where are things going between you two, and what to expect in general in your life. So do have a look. It will be linked below. Okay. Show me why is the Four of Wands Aries challenge? Why is that their challenge? I feel like some of you have been having a hard time with um, showing perseverance towards something. Okay, there is, I feel like there's determination, but, but not enough perseverance. In a situation okay and i feel like you've been wanting to do better at something it's it's almost like you've also been wanting to outgrow something in your life but the challenge here is also to not be so hard on yourself because the knight of pentacles talks about slow and steady pro progress okay so whatever you're wanting to do with the magician energy it is about realizing your potential and what you're capable of but at the same time do not be so hard on yourself, especially when it comes to bringing stability into your life. What is this about? It's kind of showing me um, a relationship and money both, but I don't know what exactly it is. I feel like I'm picking up on both energies. This could be really about what brings you happiness and a sense of stability within your own self. So that can be connected to money or love. Because it's like the challenge here is to, again, you know, striving to become better. But at the same time, it's, it's almost like what needs to be done, you know? Give me one more on this. Why is that their challenge? 
Yeah, it's almost like you you have a lot on your plate, Aries. You have a lot on your plate. Two of Pentacles energy. This could be your person's energy. Okay, there could be a person who is on your mind and their hearts ever get whatever. But there's a decision and there's an energy here of too much on your plate. Okay, that is causing a sense of confusion. Uh, confusion. Confusion. <laughs> okay with the four of swords and the five of swords. Some of you just need to take a break. I feel like Aries, I'm, if I'm gonna be really honest with you, your challenge is kind of like spreading in many different areas of your life because it is a little bit about a relationship, it is a little bit about money, it is a little bit about family. And with the magician there, I can tell that you know what to do or you're striving to get better. But at the same time, with the Knight of Pentacles, you need to show more patience and perseverance, okay? And compassion towards yourself. You cannot have it all together just today, you know? So the Nine of Cups, I do see you in an emotionally balanced place, moving towards the future, which is great, of course. Why is the Four of Swords there? Eight of Wands and the King of Cups. Ooh, and the thing is that King of Cups is right next to that uh, card as well. There is communication coming towards you from somebody. And this, is, uh, this communication is coming in from somebody who you do not expect to hear from. So, I don't know. There's communication. There's a message coming through. I feel like you're trying to forget about this person with the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you have already made up your mind to be distant from this person. I feel like you really had high hopes when it comes to this person and where things were going to go, but they didn't. But I feel like at the same time, you're trying to be more independent. Because with the Death and the Star here as well, I'm seeing a lot of healing taking place. So, yeah. <clears throat> let's see what's the star about there's a wish fulfillment four of pentacles ten of swords okay something here is coming to an end aries something is coming to an end and the thing is that the problem actually is that whatever is coming to an end you've been holding on to it and you've been holding on to it long enough and now it's time to release because ten of swords is only going to bring you more mental uh anguish if you still hold on so there's something you need to really release and let go of something you've been holding on to and once you do that i feel like things are going to ease up a little bit What's the Six of Pentacles? I see a sense of balance in the future. Hermit, Hierophant again. I feel like some of you are into spirituality or into tarot, astrology, whatever it is, because I see you healing and I see a very like enlightened and a better version of yourself coming out of this experience because there is a certain experience in your life, Aries, that is teaching you self-reliance and being more confident in your decision making. Right now, I feel like you're trying to put love aside, okay? Show me why is this person confused who's coming towards Aries? Mm, they spy on you, Aries, the page of swords, two of swords. This person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of swords, seven of swords. They're feeling confused because they know they did you wrong, <laughs> okay? They know that they deceived you or they walked away from you without saying anything or I feel like somebody left you out in the cold or they didn't bother to explain themselves and this person knows exactly what they did. And you know when you do somebody wrong and you're trying to sneak back into their life and then you just feel like, oh, but you know, it's your guilty conscience here and that is what this is. This, this person knows, eight of cups. I feel like this person's sad without you <laughs> and every time there's a person moving on there's somebody from the past who's getting sa sad why is that 
Why is the devil and the world card here? Why is the devil and the world card here, please? The moon. I feel like a lot of you, there is a situation that you couldn't trust in the past. I feel like you tried to invest in it. You hoped for it to grow, but it just didn't make sense. Something just did not make sense for you. And the more you try to make sense of it, the more you got confused. So it was like a recurring situation. Okay, it's like a loop. Okay, so I feel like you're you're kind of like recognizing and letting go of that with the world card. What's the world card? Page of Swords. Again, the devil energy. I feel like you're trying to let go of a person who you feel like is immature or not really capable of giving you what you want. So this reading is really also about breaking free from toxic patterns in your life, whether that be about love or friendships. So let's have a look at your advice, Aries. Seven of Cups to the Hierophant. Show me what's that. Show me what's that. Ace of Cups. And the star card again i really feel like aries there's something coming towards you that you don't expect and this is reminding you exactly of that this is telling you to not settle for less and there is a new beginning in love for you ace of cups seven of cups there could be options in love for you actually but the hierophant star and the emperor talks a lot about healing so let's see Show me more, please. courthouse there could be something legal going on with you guys oh my god some of you there is a person who betrayed you when it comes to money maybe or there's a person at your work who's toxic or giving you the side eye okay uh, but i see you focused on your work though main female expectation give me one more marriage there is marriage involved journey some of you could be thinking about traveling so what i'm seeing here is that a lot of you are i feel like you often think about a relationship okay and you want to be prioritized in your relationship so maybe you're trying to manifest a relationship i do see marriage here so there that could already be already be involved or it could be you know something in the future but right now you need to be more careful when making money related decisions and I do see a relationship, but I'm going to be honest, this is something in the long run. Okay, so that's the Aries. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended to know more about who you're connecting with and what to expect in general uh, bonus messages. So do have a look. It will be linked below. Take care, Aries, and bye-bye.